and welcome to um, this short demo. I wanted to highlight here some of the features of WebSnet Orchestra and some of the benefits that we can provide our business users with having an agentic uh, orchestration layer on top of our many agents and uh, integrations that we have in our uh, enterprise. So to start, I wanna set up like the context of this demo. We are talking about an uh, insurance company and uh, I'm having, I'm, I'm a seller and I'm gonna have repetitive task that I wanna be able to automate and leverage Gen AI really to make my life, um, my work easier, but more productive, right? So in this scenario, right, I'm a, I'm a seller and I'm looking always to uh, go through my clients and find opportunities to upsell or cross-sell different products that we have at, at an insurance company, right? So uh, I can write here natural language, of course, but since this is one of the, my most uh, used um, cases, uh, I can have a shortcut here and uh, I can start my conversation with my um, with my agent, uh, my cell agent, right? So um, I can see here my list of customers. So what's going on beneath, right? I'm using natural language, but uh, our, our orchestration layer is really um, connected with different agents and uh, so also with different tools that they can use. In this case, it's going to a CRM and what's the next orchestrates come with out of the box uh, integrations with different types of CRMs uh, that you find uh, on, on the market, right? Like your SAPs, your um, ServiceNows and, and others, right? So really um, what matters here is that I don't need to go directly or know how to do that kind of query in my CRM. It's bringing it all in, in one single layer. And I can um, I can choose my customer, right? Like that I wanna uh, start writing uh, or finding opportunities to upsell or cross-sell, right? So um, the LM here, what it's doing, it's, it's, it, has, uh, it has some optimization or some uh, cross-selling features, right? And what is uh, this engine of decision is really giving me right now is that it's saying, hey, maybe go with the Silver Traverse Insurance uh, and it's uh, already creating a prompt template to use in the LLM that is gonna provide or it's gonna use the, or it's gonna generate, I'm sorry, the email, which is a very nice feature. Um, always, there's always the option for me as the seller and the human in the loop to modify this or to improve or to create a, a different prompt if I want. But it's also a benefit, right? That it comes, that is already generating a, a good prompt, um, which normally can take some time, right? And, and you can see here, but it, it, it has a nice quality of what we are doing. So I'm gonna just um, hit apply in this case, right? And I'm gonna use, use this product recommendation and the, and the prompt template and now it's moving me along, right? Okay, we wanna crop sell. Okay, why don't we start generating this email, right? So I can review again the email of my customers, um, the subject, right? It's a, it's a, I guess, a nice subject, or uh, but I, I can really improve it here as I as I see fit, and and I can see already the email generated by the LLM, right? So what's next? Orchestrate connects with what's next AI to use uh, large language models and, and be able to use JI in the context of the workflow that we are uh, implementing or that we are automating using what's next orchestra. So it's really uh, the power of JI and automation coming together with this orchestration layer that we are seeing here for, for the seller, right? So I could use it uh, right as it is, right? I see the subject, I can copy paste it and start really making this email feel right better. But uh, look, think of all the time that I have already uh, saved, right? With a few steps, right? Maybe. I can, I can review it here. Maybe I, I can go into a text editor and really try to, uh, you know, really try to find misspells, errors, stuff like that. Um, this Gen AI, this LLM that we have used was not trained uh, with any of my insurance company uh, information. So, you know, we could start trying to catch um, if there are any um, any hallucinations, right? Or, or just general misspells, for example, we have here travelers, I can really quickly uh, copy this, but I can also start thinking about the business, right? Because again, this is the human and the loop. Uh, I wanna be able to also, you know, make decisions along with this powerful agent that is helping me, right? But so uh, one thing that I can 
uh, start thinking is, hey, maybe, yeah, we're, we're upselling to uh, silver, but what about if I, I, I wanna upsell to gold, right? Well, I think I, I have some knowledge, uh, additional knowledge or insight, and, and maybe like, let's try to uh, go with that, right? Let's try really to um, look for what benefits my gold, uh, my gold insurance tier would provide, right? So, okay, so what I really wanna do now is I'm gonna open a new chat and I'm gonna now try to connect with an agent that has um, information about my offers, right? The previous agent or conversation, we were really just using the CRM and I wanna also show the feature of having multiple parallel active chats, right? So I have it here, it's my offer search also, I can just write it and it's gonna now use a pattern called retrieval of magnet generation, which is basically connecting to a source of truth or source of information where we can ground the answers for, of the LLM, right? So, and, and here it's just looking for generic offers, but what I'm really interested in is, hey, what about, um, what about my uh, travel offers, right? Like I, I, I want to provide Janet with um, a good compelling reason to uh, buy or to upsell or, or cross sell uh, into a different tier for the travel insurance, right? So here it's, okay, it's giving me the offers, right? Like discounts and, and, and silver tiers and, and others, right? But what I'm really interested in for Janet is that since she's an existing client, right? We need existing conditions, right? So we need um, offers with discounts for travelers with who have existing conditions, meaning that they already have uh, another policy with us, right? So now again, this is all using RAG. It's just gonna go and use conversational AI, semantic knowledge of what we're asking and provide the best solution, right? So uh, I wanna incorporate this into my email. So what I'm really gonna go here is gonna, I'm gonna jump into my previous um, chat. I'm gonna start like split screen, I copy this into an editor uh, and, um, and really start working, right? Like, uh, okay, now I have this cool information that my agent has provided me I'm gonna use my knowledge and gonna say, hey, uh, this is some something compelling, right? Why you should also consider gold level. So now I know that really what I'm, I'm looking is to go into gold and maybe I'm gonna just look if there is any uh, reference to silver, which there are none, that's good, into gold. Okay, so this email is right now looking very good to me and I have already started using uh, my capabilities of, of Generate right. So now, let's show different types of features. Let's show. Hey, what about if I ask a different types of questions? Right. Like I'm in in a chat. I'm I'm talking about uh, and using my retrieval augmented generation pattern. Um, but I, I want to start like other types of. Um, hey, do we have coverage? So I'm not only asking now for offers, right? Which was my previous chat. You can see it here or the assistant that was connected. So now my orchestration layer understand, hey, he's not talking here about offers. He's using, it's using AI to understand. Now he's switching uh, into uh, another type of uh, information that I know that this other agent can uh, solve. So now I'm using my coverage check, right? And it's answering, hey, no, the gold insurance does not cover their insurer for uh, sports because maybe I know that Janet is very into uh, sports from our previous conversations, right? So this is a very po very powerful feature, right? That with one chat, with one conversation, we can have multiple agents where really leverage all the uh, previous investments and new investment that companies are doing in and making use of it through AI so that those investments are now come into a live and really start generating uh, optimization, cost savings, and increase in efficiency for our employees, right? So um, now I can ask, hey, why don't you summarize the benefits of the silver insurance? Again, now this is um, using the context of the whole conversation and it's gonna, again, using the coverage check is giving me, okay, five, 
nice um, benefits of the silver travel but hey I forgot that I'm really into interested right now is in the gold not the um, not the silver right so what I'm gonna do is now I'm just gonna ask for the gold right so I can just copy paste the same one and I'm gonna uh, change here to gold and again it's gonna go do the rack pattern summarize it everything underneath is, is already working together in orchestration so I now I now have these nice five bullet points that I hey maybe I want to um, share with uh, with my customer right hey here are your coverage options I can format this right right I can jump back into my write an email uh, conversation that, that I previously started and I'm just gonna copy paste it uh, make sure that everything is, is, is okay Let's hit apply here right and again all the orchestration is taken care of email has been sent and then we will be able to retrieve this uh, email or for for this demo right so what I really wanted to show here and what we um, have with orchestrate is the ability to connect with your existing uh, agents uh, automations and co bring them together into an uh, AI that is orchestrating and is defining where to use in the same conversation with all the context of um, the, that we have and really walk you through the workflow uh, to optimize your work of the, of the work at time in a, another series I would love to show you how we can create these agents how we can uh, connect to your existing CRMs or your existing automation flows to make uh, and to bring this all to life so thank you for your time and see you in another one